Hi, I'm Freya. And I'm Michael. And we're going to take you on a quick tour around the school. So this is our school hall. This is where we have some of our assemblies. And where we also put on school productions once a year. So this poster here shows our calm policy. It lets you work independently and efficiently during the classroom time. Yes, so we have a reward system based around this policy to ensure that you can make the most of your learning. So these are our two religious studies classrooms where you'll learn about the six main religions and then also different ideas and beliefs. Uh, adding on to that, as Freya said, we do beliefs um, ethics as well so this is definitely a, one of the best rooms you can find for discussions. So this is one of our geography classrooms which is where you'll learn about comparing different countries and climate change and some map skills. Uh, and then we also have some of our homework projects that you'll do in Key Stage 3, for example a volcano and we also have our globe here. Um, these parents usually help with so if you don't want to get involved, you don't have to, but it is a fun project and it just shows that homework isn't all that bad. So these are two of our English classrooms. These are where you learn skills such as inference and analysis, and you'll learn writing skills that will take you all the way through school and into normal life. And reading is also really important here. So we have Dear Time, which stands for Drop Everything and Read. So that'll be a couple of times a week during tutor when you can read your own book, and then also sometimes at the start of some of your English lessons too. So this is one of our eight science labs where you'll be learning about physics and chemistry and biology which might be a little bit different to primary school but there are loads of really great fun practicals to get involved with. And we also do specialists here which maybe not many schools do offer so for chemistry, physics and biology we offer multiple specialists for each subject. So this is one of our history classrooms where you'll be learning about subjects like the remnants of the British Empire and even more serious topics like uh, the slavery. Um, I did GCSE history and it's so exciting. There's so many discussions and debates that you get to have and it's definitely something that you can get your teeth stuck into. So this is one of our art classrooms, this is where you get more fun and creative and express yourself. Uh, we do have a bit of a different style to primary school where we have lots of different mediums. Yeah, so it's not just drawing, we also do photography and then also if you're a bit more hands-on we have a kiln if you wanted to try a bit of sculpting. Uh, so this is one of our product design spaces where you'll get the chance to be a bit creative and also problem solve when working with different materials. Uh, you'll work with uh, materials such as acrylics and woods and possibly even metals. Um, we have lots of heavy different machinery, 3D printers. Uh, laser cutters, lots of things that I'm sure you didn't have in primary and lots of things I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with. So this is our languages department. Some of you might be learning French and the other half of you will be learning Spanish. It's a bit different to primary school where you might just have been learning words. You'll be learning how to express yourselves in full sentences and also a bit about the culture of the country that you're learning about. Um, adding on to that, for example, I went on the German exchange in year 9 and 10 and it's one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. You learn all about the culture, you meet new German friends that I'm still in contact with today. So here we have our maths department, one of our core subjects. We have a whole team of specialist teachers here to help you learn at your own pace and to the best of your ability. And we have an underlying concept about practice makes permanent. We want to try and help you get as fluent in maths as you will be in English and we have so many specialists in the department to help with that. This is one of our food tech rooms where you'll learn some basic cooking skills, how to follow a recipe, that sort of thing, and also a bit about health and nutrition too. And it is good fun to take home to your parents. So this is the drama studio. This is where you'll have your drama lessons. Um, we focus on technical aspects of drama as well as acting, singing if you like, dressing up, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a great way to build your confidence and just have fun really. So this is one of our music classrooms. As you can see, we have loads of Apple Macs, which are really great for composing, using the software on there just to create your own music. We also have it a bit more hands-on, so you can learn different instruments like the keyboard and ukulele, and eventually progress to what you're most comfortable with and what you enjoy. Uh, we also have six amazing practice rooms where if you're enjoying the subject and you want to learn a bit more about music, you can go in there during break or lunch uh, if you ask your teacher and focus on that instrument a bit more. Yeah, so we also have loads of uh, amazing musical clubs like orchestra and choir. We even managed to go on two separate choir tours to 
Austria and Vienna a couple of years ago, which were really amazing. Thank you for coming guys. Hopefully we'll see you soon.